Alrighty, let's pick up where we left off. Um, today, I'm going to just try and get through the next couple quests so that I could jump right in and hang out with Fred once uh, he starts playing again. Um, we're going to do some dungeons today. Alright, so, uh, first I'm gonna just check off some to-do list stuff. Uh, gonna go around, sync up with the shards, so I can get around the city easier. Um, and then probably do the stuff for the smith, that lets you get, like, the beginner gear. But yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, well, that took a bit longer than expected, but we do now have this sweet new outfit, so that's something. Uh, basically, it was just like a tutorial of like, hey, don't stand in the glowy red stuff, and when your allies are fighting something, fight the same thing. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and then I also attuned to all the bits and limbs, so you'll probably see the rest of the city as we just like go around, but... Uh, first, I noticed that there's a quest here that I think would be interesting to share. Beauty is only scalp deep. Rumors of a dangerous madman about town have Sadojbi ill at ease. I, I assume that's how it's pronounced. I should know, I guess, since I'm presumably, like, of a similar culture. But I do not. DJB is an odd sequence of letters. <laughs> Well, you're either a brave man or a fool, friend, to be wandering the streets of Limsa tonight. Ah, I'm both. What with the slasher of Fisherman's Bottom on the loose. You've not heard? There's a madman about. Why, it said he brandishes blades so long and sharp as they could gut a whale. No one's seen any blood yet, but that hasn't stopped the rumors from sending shivers up, sh up spines in every alehouse in town. They are still standing before me, tells, you the tells me you don't scare as easily as the rest. Perhaps you could assist with the investigation. To start with, you might want to look into that stream I just- uh, this- that scream I just heard outside. <laughs> I don't know if you should- oh, it's for the mail. I did also, uh, check my mail to get, uh, some of the rewards, but nothing of note. Why will no one listen? My blades! I must have my blades! What are you waiting for? That's him, the slasher! Apprehend him, toss him in the jail, and throw away the key! Or gut him and feed his lifeless body to the sharks for all I care! Just do something! Whoa, whoa, was me! Whatever did I do to deserve this cruel fate? For six moons I saved every last gill of my husband's hard-earned wage, foregoing new shoes, a new purse, sometimes even food for our children, all in anticipation of this day. What's so special about today, you ask? Why, this day marks the arrival of a world-renowned aesthetician in Limsa. Wait, are we not... Okay. My endless patience and self-control were to be rewarded with a hair-raising transformation that would have every fashion-conscious laments and ooing and aahing and admiration. Instead, I find myself accosted by this lecherous lout. Speaking of which, weren't you going to do something about this? Go ahead, have your way with him. I doubt he has anything to say for himself. Doubt, in red text, to imply that you should do the emote. You hear that, sir? I, you're being doubted. Doubt. Oh, the ignominy of it all. Of course you take her side. For shame, is there not one sympathetic ear in this entire nation? And I speak unto you three names. Three kind souls who may yet put right what has gone so frightfully wrong. Forgemaster Hananza of Naldekin Vimeles, Guildmaster Beaton of the Gridanian Carpenters Guild, and Severian of the Alchemist's Guild in Uldar. If there is an ounce of compassion in you, seek them out and tell them Jean de Lime sent you. When my soul is restored and my name rightfully cleared, all of Limsa, nay, the entire realm will sing your praises. 
For I, Jean Delaine, am none other than thus. <coughs> this. <sighs> I'm going to assume you're trying to say aesthetician, which I imagine is difficult to say at the best of times. But alright, let's uh, go get this dude's stuff, I guess, and hope we're not aiding and abetting a serial killer. But I like the cut of his jib, so I don't think that's what's happening. Uh, I don't know if it made it into the video the last time, but uh, Fred, I assume, was doing this quest, and Hananza came up then, and I was immediately like, "Yes, I know that NPC. She's pretty cool." And this is this is this is her. I stand by my assessment. Jean de Lyon sent you. Let me guess, the barmy fool's lost his tools, pardon me, the appendages of his very soul again, and his thrashing and tossing like the end of days is nigh. The man brings it on himself. If he toned down the theatrics and went about his work like an earnest craftsman, I dare say he'd save himself these misunderstandings. No, I've not a wit of sympathy for the fool. You, however, have my pity, indeed, for having to play audience to his whinging. Any road, this should set him up for, shut him up for a while. Tell him that if he loses these, I'll grab the next pair into his bloody hands. Alright. I will see you probably never. <laughs> Alright. So, the other two things involve me going to the other two city-states. I don't really want to do that yet. So I'm going to just go about the, the normal quests, and I will be brought past those as part of the MSQ. A new letter. Is this the one with the... Nope, still not the one. Alright, cool. One of these will eventually give me that earring, but not today. Uh, anyway, there was one thing that did catch my eye in the town, um, which was the Marauders Guild. Uh, our guy is definitely interested in picking up the axe, as it was in the trailer. <laughs> so I figure we could start that off now, and uh, I can start leveling that in between cuts, more or less. We'll probably pick up another class or two um, as we go from city to city as well. Marauders Guild in the Coral Tower. Hey there, Blathara. I would like to learn axe. Oh there, adventurer. Curious about the Marauders Guild, are ye? Any axe worth wielding needs two hands on the haft and has a blade that can chop clean through a galley's mast. That's the kind of weapon our members trained to use with, the decept with deceptive swiftness and brutal force. If you're, ever, if you're ever mind to make the Marauder's Art your life's work, then our guild welcomes you with open arms. What say, you lad? Keen to join the ranks? Yeah. Well then, here's a bit of guild history so you know what you're getting into. It all started with, the, with ships, you see. What have ships got to do with axes, you ask? Well, blood, building them would be pretty bloody difficult without a sturdy tool to lop down trees for timber. And since only the navigator herself knows when a ship will run afoul of a storm or worse, it makes sense for the cruise carpenter to carry an axe on board. But any tool on a ship can become a weapon, and the axe is perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose in a whirl of steel, and generally laying waste to all about ye. As more seafarers took up the axe as their weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of the marauder begin to take shape, especially among pirates, where strength and skill decided your place in the world. With an eye to assembling crews of battle-ready raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper ways to wield a chopping blade to their new recruits. And that's how the Marauders Guild first came to be. After the Galadian Accord was signed, though, the Marauders Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured, and purged of its pirate elements. It has been reborn as an institution dedicated to naught but the teaching of axe fighting. The members of this new Marauders Guild weren't no greed-driven cutthroats, neither. They were warriors that sought what sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. Still keen, are you? Think it over, then let me know if you, if you decide to join our ranks. 
I already said yes. Okay. You've decided then? You ready to join the Marauders Guild? Alright then. All that needs doing now is to speak with the Axe Master himself. Sounds simple. I've seen folks slink out the door rather than put themselves in the path of that unnerving glare. That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Wernzen's his name. Put some steel in your spine and look him straight in the eye when you talk to him, lad. Good fortune to you. Hello, good sir. Yes, I'm Wernzon. Axe Master, they call me. Not that the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. The art of the Marauder is used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our adversaries, we seek to overwhelm them. A Marauder must be the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield. We must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blathora, but once more shall I challenge your commitment. Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits an initiate at the Marauders Guild? Ye. Yeah. Very well, your name? Uh, Nyardbert Tia, sir. Attend me well, then, Nyardbert. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own, until your healer heals you. I present to you this axe as a symbol of your commitment. Your first lesson shall be how to hold it. Now grip the haft with both hands and set yourself in a solid stance. Hell yeah. You unlocked a new class. You can change this class at any time by equipping the weapon received from this quest. Okay. So, the way that uh, classes in this work is that they are tied to your weapon. Um, so, as soon as I go to equip the axe, I'm a marauder instead of an archer. So this is saying that since I have a class at a higher level, it gives me a bonus um, for raising up the points of the secondary class. There we are. I can. I might as well dress up with a theory and look. Hell yeah. Nah, no, that wasn't good. Awesome. Yeah, this is someone I trust with the battle axe. <laughs> anyway, I, I picked up the axe. What's step two? Aye, you cut a striking figure, Nyardbert, but heroic posing is unlikely to cut a swath through your enemies. I mean, I don't know, it's a, it's a good place to start. You stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. You shall, you shall wade straightway into combat as, belt, as befits a novice of your discipline. Go forth and slay the bleating, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa Luinsa. Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs shall be your piteous adversaries this day. Return to me once three of each creature have fallen to your blade. Do I get the hunting log now? Or I do, I have it. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just like do that as we're doing other stuff. Uh, but for now, oh, I didn't actually make a gear set. Okay, so there's Marauder. And let me go ahead and throw on a bow. Make me an archer and then become a better archer. And that will also be a set. Oh. So now, if I just go to my gear sets, I could switch between being a marauder or an archer. And that's really all there is to it. Although, obviously, you can't do that in combat. Alright. Let us proceed with the main quest, then. You hear about Commander Rayner's investigation? Then you'll want to board a ferry bound for airport. 
Once you arrive in Western Lanasia, though, you'd best pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Stasha. The Adventures Guild runs the Hall, and the, the folk there will prepare you, train you with the skills you'll need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the Secret Hut. The Hall is on the way to Sestasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside, and one of their seasoned adventurers will take you in hand. Best of luck to you, friend. Bring me to Aleport. You ready to charge me? Okay, sure. Alright, new town. I'm gonna turn up my music a little bit. I don't know if it makes a difference for the recording of what it's set to on my computer. I haven't had a time to actually edit any of it yet, so, like, if there's something that has been wrong this whole time, it's still gonna be wrong. Ah, uh, flight, my old friend. Surprisingly empty here. Okay, is it Friday? I guess this might, not, might just not be a particularly popular time to be out and about. I'm gonna accept this and do it off stream. It's basically just like, hey, go fight some leopards and jackals, and then you get a kitten and a puppy to follow you around. The quest itself isn't anything, but I, I, I kind of want to get the, the reward. <laughs> Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jacket sent word. I hear you are to brave the depths of the Sestasha Sea Grot. The occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believed, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions. And you shall need the training we hear the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest that you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him, and you can register for exercise tailored to your particular field of expertise. When you've mastered all that our report, when you've mastered all that our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mouth of the Sestasha Seagrot, and he will furnish you with the details of your duty. I have already done the Hall of the Novice stuff, because you can also take that from Limsa. That's what we did during that jump cut earlier. So I figure we'll do one dungeon as an archer, um, just to like establish that as part of our guy's arc, but then probably go get um, Marauder up to snuff for the next one. Oh, there's some other adventurers here. Hey there. Ah, a fellow adventurer. You two are here to unravel the mysteries of Sestasha. I've adventured across this wide realm for more seasons than I dare to count, yet still, Eorzea manages to surprise me with her beauty and splendor. Our journeys are not ended by the attainment of riches or fame. It is an unquenchable thirst for the unknown that drives us into the wilds time and time again. Even though I explored the world for a thousand years, I would never grow weary of this life. What of you? Grandfather and I are companions on the road. We travel where the wind takes us, and drink in all the wonders this world has to offer. Only an adventurer can understand the joy of such freedom, of discovering hidden places and experiencing sights and sounds that few may ever know. The passing years have begun to take their toll on the old man, but no force save death will sate his appetite for adventure. That's a little grim. They've thrown up death flags there, Grandpa. Don't, don't. Don't, don't die. That would be sad. Anyway. Oh, are you okay? I'm sorry, Avir. I came as fast as I could. 
I tried haggling with the merchant, but two potions was the best I could get with the money you gave me. I had no idea how expensive they were. What took you so bloody long, Etta? If my purse was too light, you might have considered using some of your own bleeding coin to get us what we need. You've only ever been as useful as the contents of your pockets. The gods know you can barely heal a scratch. We took out the venture in life to take on the big jobs and claim the big rewards. How are we going to do that if we can't even get our supplies in order? Hmm. It's Sam, the one Batteron was talking to. Well, we'll see who gets the glory. This job should have been ours in the first place. Oh. Good luck, I guess? This is perfect for, for our inaugural outing as a party. Wandering around in the caves, turning over a few rocks, how difficult could it possibly be? I never expected our first visit to the Adventurers Guild would yield such a straightforward way to win fame and fortune. <laughs> Etta, you're so slow you'd lose a foot race to a tree slug. You're not being very nice to this girl. There, there. Please tell me you're here on yellow jacket duty and not some daft sought out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. You are? Thank the gods. I assume you already know about the ship seen slipping around the Isles of Umbra? We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted, thinking a crew of cutthroats might have a den nearby. So, when we received word that men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Zestasha here, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself. But if this lot belongs to those fishback fancying serpent reavers, well, you can imagine the panic it'll cause. I hope that the kidnappings are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around in the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll, keep, I'll be keeping watch out here, praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Hell yeah. Okay. Duty calls. A dungeon beckons. Unless the aid of allied players and uh, NPCs alike to slay monsters, solve mysteries, and defeat the mighty boss lurking in the depths. Conquering dungeons is not only a time honored tradition of adventurers, but also it progresses the main scenario and tests your progress at a given class or job in a timed environment. Intimidated? Fear not, dear adventurer. With a little guidance, you too shall be clearing dungeons with confidence in no time. This is so much nicer than what it was when I started playing. <laughs> You may challenge a dungeon via two different methods, by calling upon the support of trusty NPCs or by pooling your talent with other players, be they best friend or first acquaintance. No matter how you form your party, the trials that await you will be comparable in difficulty and experience. No matter how independent and capable you may be, a dungeon is too mighty a challenge to overcome on its own. Asterisk. By choosing duty support when accessing the entrance of any applicable dungeon, you'll summon a balanced team of skilled NPCs to support you on your path to glory. Just don't forget them once you're rich and famous, yes? After choosing to challenge a dungeon with NPCs via duty support, a party that perfectly complements your current class or job will be crea automatically created for you. All that's left is to select Register for Duty and you'll be battling monsters in no time. They say a burden shared is a burden halved, and with the Duty Finder you can split that burden amongst a team of players who smolder with the same passion for adventure as you do. No need to recruit such teammates yourself. The Duty Finder's matching system will automatically group players according to chosen challenge and other criteria, guaranteeing a balanced and invigorating cooperative experience for all. Once you've been matched with the party, you'll be notified by a bracing sound that the time for battle is at hand. Simply collect, select Commence, and you and your comrades will be delivered unto the fray. Remember, the adventurers with whom you are cooperating are fellow players. Take advantage of the full and varied strengths your group possesses by communicating respectfully and often. Dungeons abound. As your journey progresses, more and more dungeons will become available, until you find yourself a master of a sea of tribulations overcome. Yeah, no, that is what that says. Okay, uh, but don't let completion deter you from challenging your favorite duties again. Simply open duty support to play through dungeons you've cleared, or use the duty finder to do the same with dungeons not yet supported by the NPC party system. No matter your craving, you're guaranteed to find an adventure to satisfy. While this introduction of dungeons has no doubt been immortalized within the hollowed halls of your mind, if you find yourself in need of a refresher, you may access tutorial information again by selecting the question mark icon in the duty support or duty finder windows. A true adventurer knows the meaning of duty. Secure your legacy by fulfilling yours. I understand what I must do.
Hell yeah. Um, for the purpose of uh, this, at least, I think I'm going to go through and uh, do this with the NPCs, because I kind of like the vibe of it. And later on, you get like actual named NPCs that like have plot significance. Uh, but you may see me doing some dungeons with Fred if we end up uh, recording those as well. Because it's fun to do it with friends. Uh, but since I'm currently playing a DPS, I don't feel like queuing with a bunch uh, to wait an extra amount of time just to run it with strangers. Oh, that's awesome. So the ones that they're picking up here are just like other eager adventurers. We've got a Marauder, a Conjurer, and a Thaumaturge. Which is a warrior, white mage, and black mage run up, respectively. Now, the other thing of note is when you're traveling with a party, you get that limit break gauge. Um, that means that you could essentially, like, it charges up over time and it, while being in combat, and you can burn it. It's shared amongst the party, and when you use it, it does a big thing. For me, it basically makes a big column of arrows, I think. Okay. All right, Marauder, take the lead. Scorch. The person just trying to get it the hang of what they're doing. Uh, when you're doing this with real players, you can usually take a whole bunch of these groups at once. But I'm uh, a little nervous to put too much pressure on our NPC friends here, at least at the start. That up. What's this memo say? You find a blood-stained scrap of parchment with a message scrawled upon it in faded ink. The captain likes his seas blue. Alright. Good to see that literacy is not entirely fallen by the wayside in the uh, brigand culture. Let's see if we can get a couple of these guys. There's there's two packs at the same time. Can our eager marauder handle it? Yeah, it's generally good to get the, a whole bunch of them um, in a pack because your AoEs can hit all of them. So it doesn't matter if there's like three or if there's 30, it's all of them. <laughs> Oh, 
Can I turn off party names? Now, a little scrap of paper said that blue one's the answer. Oh, and it revealed a switch. What the switch? Oh my god! Hi! <laughs> Is that a successful switch? Our healer said the door's guardian, no doubt. So, I guess the idea is that we were gonna open it. No, got spooked. We did it. Our very first boss. I use the term boss pretty lightly in this dungeon, but still, it's a... Uh, it was a boss encounter. It locks the zone down. <laughs> Captain, you must put a stop to these crazy deeds. Don't, don't. Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting. How would you find this place? Sir, I'll slit your throat and toss your corpse in the bad serpent.
And away he runs. Onward, my team. Let's chase him. Oh, oh that, that's a lot of people. Let's still chase him, I guess? Nope. Okay, not chasing. No, no chase. Chase bad. You see our uh, limit gauge is now full. So we could theoretically use a limit break here. I think I said it for the last fight. But the option's there. I do love how much time they put into these environments. Like, this is something that you only really use once. This is, there's this dungeon, and then we never, like, come back here. But, like, they, they put a long time into rendering this to make it look like a pirate, like, base in a cave. He doesn't stand up to, like, some of the crazy stuff further down the line, but, like... For such a humble beginning, it's very well polished. Alright, Captain, nowhere to run this time! Might you consider a parlay? <laughs> Jason! Ah, fine. That was a hell of an entrance there, you marauder. I don't know, shame, shame that you don't have a name. Honestly, the only gripe I have with uh, the stuff this early is that they totally could have just like picked minor named characters to throw in there and instead they went like 
Eager Marauder. Contra Rook. <laughs> like, what if we did the dungeon with, like, that, that girl and her grandpa? That still leaves one open slot, but you get the point. over there to finish the dungeon. I'm quite curious if there's something over here. Whether it be an extra treasure chest or just like a different zone that it'll count as me marking off. So there's a little achievement for uh, completing the map for each area and that includes the dungeons. his engage ability earlier in this than you do as a player character. Because he has this, he has this like sprint, and I don't think you get that until a later level in the 15. I'm not incredibly well versed with Warrior though, so I can't say for certain. Oh, there's more. Get that captain. Psh, you sully our spawning grounds, Shawlocker. Oh! Well, I, mean, I guess that's what we were gonna do, but... Yikes! <laughs> Finless fools, the lord of the world shall sap upon your souls. I'm sure when he's done that for us. I don't know what makes you see a nine foot tall fish dude and be like, man, this guy, no problem. I guess it is a four on one, but still. Alright, uh, do the others not even do them again? Alright, I guess we'll just ignore it then. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Back in the very, very early days, you had to do this mechanic. Basically, if you ignore those ripples for too long, uh, ads show up. Uh, but the way the numbers got fussed around, it's, it, they don't show up fast enough for it to matter. You do so much damage. I can make them show up? Yeah, there they are. So, <laughs> it became the standard to just ignore the mechanic. But it's very funny that they even programmed in the NPCs to do that. We did it. to say, boys. I appreciate the posturing, but no dialogue? No dialogue. Alright. Let's bounce. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, is that not better than what I have? That's kind of funny. talk to now. I'll go back to the Drowning Wedge. Alright, um, well, let's head back to Limsa, but then I think I'm gonna take some time to level up Marauder a bit, because you'll notice that the main story quest we're on is like level 15, <laughs> and we are level 24, having done basically just the MSQ. That doesn't really let up. Um, the MSQ just gives a ton of experience. So I would like to have like at least two classes that I could feasibly do the quests at so that I'm not just like throwing experience on something that's incredibly overleveled for it. Also, it's time to switch over to the main uh, class of this expansion. Because the Warrior of Light is a warrior in the trailer. So now let's do the comparatively very silly Marauder class quests. Although they don't immediately become silly, but you'll see what I mean. Should have switched before I did that. Alright. Marauder time. I have one button and it is hit. Hit! Second hit. Dead. Ooh, I should eat food. Well, I might need to get new food soon. There we are. So yeah, it's not showing up here, but... Oh, yeah, it is. It shows their, the little experience numbers that pop up. It's showing that I'm getting, like, 150% of the normal experience because this class is lower than my highest class. Basically, the way this works is that doing one skill will, like, chain into the next. So, like, if you do them in a particular order, they are significantly stronger. You only got two now, but now it's a one-two as compared to a one-one-one-one-one-one-one-one-one. <laughs> that quest. I know I'm lost here, right? Are there other ones nearby? Alright. Bee Cloud. Tiny Ventricora. Right, let's just head over towards where Summerford is. Which is there. And we'll get that Etherite, and that should get us some stuff. But look at us, we're already level 4. It is tempting to try to fight the, like, the goo boo. <laughs> Alright, bees. I'm gonna try to fight a swarm of bees with an axe. Wish me luck.
It went surprisingly well. Oh. Oh, that person's in trouble. Should I help them? Yeah, hold on. Did they make it? Yeah, I think they did. Alright, cool. Oh no, I'm in combat still. So. Rude. I got up, ran off to. I can see a bunch of uh, yellow jackets running by in the background there. Nope, nope, they got out of our render range. <laughs> Summerford, both because that's where there's an etherite, and also I think there's another mark or two in that direction. Yep, speak of the devil, tiny mandragoras. I know that, like, I'm doing this to, like, check off certain things on a list and like level up and such but I do love the idea that like they just gave Nyardbird an axe and he wandered out of town and just started swinging at anything that moves <laughs> Did trigger. Hmm. All right, let's scan that etherite. Cool. Mail. No, ma'am. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Can I borrow your bird? The Chocobo Porter system is basically just taxis. I don't actually have control over this. But it's basically like... If you don't want to spend the money on teleporting back, we could do it much cheaper, but slower, by lending you a bird. Should I help with this? Yeah, why not? Themselves get hit. Oh, are they letting me do the thing to get more participation? I appreciate that, random stranger. Probably gone before that resolved, but whatever. 
It's the pr principle of the thing. Oh, wait, are those things I should fight? Mm, looks like no. Alright. Watch out! A little hurt. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, Captain Key Smash. I, I killed the defenseless animals you wanted me to. What do I do next? I guess Wernzen isn't like that much of a ridiculous name compared to some of the other ones we've seen. Ah, you have returned to me a different man. Already your face shows a harder cast, a realization of the slaughter of which you are capable. But there is much training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential. Learn well your lessons, build your strength, and make, make of each swing an instinctive act. Every blow of your weapon will clear on another step towards mastery of the Marauder Way, implacable, relentless. Such must be your momentum on both the practice grounds and the battlefield. Cool, I'm level, level 5 now, what do I do? Ah, Nyardbart, you approached me with the Marauder's strides, determined, unswerving, and bereft of the hesitation that marked our first meeting. I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin a new stage in your training. Now, what sets the axe aside from the Gladius or the Dagger? It is the raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. And that overwhelming power can only be properly dis directed by extraordinary physical strength. What about, like, a greatsword, though? Never mind. Um... Thus, we, be we come to the core of this day's lesson. Such strength as a marauder must possess is de developed through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild. A method that you too shall be taught to employ. Present yourself to Bronbar in the practice area downstairs and he shall instruct you further. There's a practice area downstairs? I yeah, should check that out earlier. What's your deal? The marauders are renowned for their raw destructive power. I prefer to focus my energies on developing effective stratagems. The doctrine of overwhelming force that many follow has not always been successful, you see. Ancient Nim, in particular, is said to have defended itself from numerous invasions, despite possessing only a token force of mariners and mages. Indeed, I believe there is much we can learn by studying the military tactics of old. I hope one day to pursue my brethren, uh, to persuade my brethren of this fact, that we might grow as an organization. Yeah, I did the thing you wanted me to. Ah, oh, this is just... I am in charge here. That's <laughs> all that person really said. Bronbar! What should I do? The Axe Master told me you'd be on your way. My name is Bronbar. Good it, good it is to meet a new Marauder. Now, we axe wielders build strength and control by splitting boulders. That's right, our traditional method involves smashing a rock with your axe. But you can't just use any old swing, you need to hit the rock just so. Rotgeim, a fellow marauder, is waiting just outside the Zephyr Gate by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll tell you how it's done. Is it hit R2 and circle? Call it a hunch, but considering I only have three buttons and one of them is a buff, I'm pretty sure it's going to be either R2 in circle or R2 in triangle.
Alright, what's the biz, Rock Guy? Greetings, lad. Ready to split some stone, are ye? I have three nice hard rocks for you to build up a sweat on. Don't try nothing fancy now, just hit him with a good, solid, heavy swing. Called it! Watcha! Yeah! Good job! Alright, rocks are gone. That's the way to do it, lad. Now you got the idea. Why don't you have at have at him a little harder with the heavy swing yours? Hold nothing back. I I guess I could push the button harder. Swan. Alright, be straight be straight with me, Rock I'm are is this actually training or did they just like need me to break rocks because the rocks are in the way? Aye, I can see you're a natural. My head's still ringing with the sound of cracking boulders. Take yourself back to Axe Master Wurnson and let him know you're ready for something harder. Then rocks? Alright. Seems like a great way to dull my axe. Like, if we're, if we're doing this, shouldn't I use, like, a hammer? <laughs> or a pick? That is a look! What robe is that? A Diadoko. Oh no, Kudzu robe of healing. Dyed cherry pink. Alright, that is something. That is a man who has confidence. Please tell me you had more for me to do than break rocks. Has the training loosened your muscles and focused your mind, Meowdbert? An urgent request for help has arrived from the Red Rooster Stead, and I have chosen you, this level 5 weenie, to respond. It appears a hostile group of megalocrabs has unwittingly elected itself to the next test of your prowess. As this is your first outing on official marauder duty, you shall be accompanied by a veteran conjurer by the name of Solquib. She awaits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake. All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Sulkwib. Hi, Nyardbird. I know who you are. My brother often has me escort his fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose Wernzen expects me to give you the details, then. Very well. It seems the farmers need us to clear out a megalocrab nest near the Morning Widow in Lower Lanasia. I shall trust you to find your own way there. Just don't forget your axe. Okay. Back up the stairs we go. Lower Lanasia. Is that at the same gate or a different one? Oh, it's the other gate. Fancy. <laughs> right, we keep an eye out an eye out for anything with those little coin symbols on them.
Ooh, like those. Haha! -ha! I see you. Die! Let's fight! Oh, or just hang out. Hmm, looks as if nobody's home. Maybe if they knew we were coming. The... The crabs? Aid! I need aid! Oh. Ah, please, it's my grandson. Them snippers got him. I told Sigurd not to get too close. I told him! Get that weapon ready, Nyardbird. We need to move. Now! Alright, let's go. Oh, it's an instant thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes. Sorry. Ah, bugger and shite! Get away from me, you great bloody bastard! Cat boy! <laughs> I can take this child. There's only... Like three, three of them? I don't know. There's a bunch of crabs and I've got an axe. <laughs> you were level 15. Oh my god, what? Alright. Well, better keep him off the healer still. Hey. Hey, look this way. Buddy. Turn around! Alright, you're funeral. Rumbar showed up? There you are. Sorry for not reading the dialogue at the same time I was hitting crabs. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I thought I was dead for sure. I can't even play outside no more with all these scary monsters about. Me mom, me da, they were both killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago. An aurochs, big as a mountain. But I bet you could beat it. Ah, oh, make it pay for what it did to me, folks! Uh, you take it easy now, son. There's a whole guild full of strapping lads and lasses like Nyardbert. We'll do just that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. Let us worry about that big, nasty bugger.
Consider your first duty a success, Nyarbrun. It's time you headed back as well, before Wernzen begins to worry you have left your corpse for the crabs. I can't go back quite yet, because I'm not close enough to level 10. So I want to... be able to accept the next quest as soon as I finish this one. Ah, dodos. Stand and draw! Another day's work. <laughs> the relentless threat of dodos have been expunged. What's that plus? Oh, okay. That's the housing thing. I, uh, have a hunch that my guy is not going to own a home. <laughs> Considering how difficult it was for me to get one for my name. Either right here? I guess there's not. Weird. I could have swore there was. Alright. Um, let me take a look at what's left in my hunting log. Alright. Bugies in middle Anasia. Wojorks in middle Anasia. Alright, Raider in middle Anasia. Megalo crabs in middle Anasia. And I am in lower Anasia. That would explain why there's nothing here. Does this one go to middle? Oh, that goes to the mist. Eastern, eastern, middle. Is it all the way on the other side? Kinda is. Wait, do I know a place in the middle of Nasia? No, I don't. So I guess we'll just walk. Onward! <laughs> How old do I get what? Defiance is the tank ability, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. What's your deal, Bronrut? <laughs> this time we dug ourselves into a hole well and truly. Struck brimstone. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure. I love that the danger that I'm sa like uh, saving these people from right now is we hit the wrong place and now this uh, tunnel too stinky.
Oh, I didn't kill it yet. Okay, okay. Kill a bunch of bats? I could work with that. to uh, counteract the fact that their only healing ability for the longest time eats, like, all of your mana. <laughs> guy's thing. Hey, buddy, I've de-stanked your cave. Ooh. I probably already have those. Give me the money. Yeah, I do. Alright, cool. Oh, what an ugly shirt, but it will have to do. Ah, the cost of early adventuring. <laughs> the price of fashion is too high. We have. Alright, so let's go over here ish. I may cut some or all of this out. Depends on the vibe I'm shooting for, I guess. part of the game, but it, it is not part of the plot, <laughs> and that is more what I'm trying to convey most of the time. It's there. Anything in this cave down here? Oh, that's where the bogeys are! Hell yeah. This is where the golem fight happens if you're starting in Lens. I think it is. It's been a while. Is that someone sitting on a throne? A player. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Your Majesty. Don't know what you're the king of, but certainly kingly. Oh. 
sorry, that's reflect. Is that his name? So he took the surname Tia, which is normally an indicator that he's a seeker of the sun that isn't the leader of his tribe, but he doesn't have a letter indicator for what his name is, like what tribe he's from. Maybe he's in exile or something? Hmm. I wonder if he has his own personal lore or if he just got it wrong. <laughs> There's like something around here. Oh, there's some orcs. Well, oh, they heavy. Hey, buddy. Sorry about this, but you're already wounded, so I, I guess this might be a mercy? I don't really know what's happening here, honestly. This is the thing that I'd wish was easier to go up and down. End up jumping off it a lot. <laughs> The only ones left are the Grounded Raiders, which are supposedly near here. I'm going to look up coordinates for them real quick. Hunting log. Seventeen. Okay, so I need to go back up, probably. Gonna go up the back and forth. Seventeen. 
Or was it 1720? Oh, in either case, they'll be close to one another. Yep, 2017 it was. Hey, buddy. Come here. Pop back to Limsa. Ooh, wait, no, it, noticed, it happened right when the split happened. Oh, this might be something with my recording. I think I can fix that. Alright, bear with me a sec. 